And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Good morning. We had a dry and hot day yesterday, but that could change in terms of precipitation for today across the Storm Tracker satellite radar. Seeing some clouds to start off the morning across the Central Mountains, even across the Snake River Plain. We are seeing partly cloudy skies to start off the morning, and we'll have a mixture of sun and clouds as we move throughout the morning. But later on this afternoon, we could see some of the moisture coming up from Nevada that could be impacting our area later on this afternoon as I time that out on the future tracker and put it in motion. By about 9 o'clock this morning, seeing partly cloudy cloudy skies across the Snake River Plain. An isolated shower could pop up across the Central Mountains, but as we move into the later afternoon, that's when the isolated showers and even thunderstorms do pop up. Just north of Island Park, seeing isolated storms, even out by Driggs, Du Bois could even get in on some of that action as we move into the 7 o'clock hour. But we will see more clouds build in later on today, so again, the storms will be very isolated. There could be a chance that even Pocatello does stay dry and doesn't see any of moisture coming out of those clouds out there, but there is still a chance for an isolated storm to pop up as we move throughout the afternoon. Temperatures right now pretty mild in the 50s and the 60s, but they certainly won't stay that way as we move throughout the day. It's 55 degrees right now in Blackfoot. It's 52 degrees in Idaho Falls. It's 55 degrees in Driggs and across the western half of Wyoming. Temperatures are slightly cooler, generally in the 40s. High temperatures today, once again in the 90s, especially across the lower half of the Snake River Plain. It'll be quite the hot one out there today. It'll be 96 degrees today in Polk Hotel in American Falls, 94 degrees in Blackfoot. Jackson, Wyoming, 85 degrees for your high temperature today. Even across the Central Mountains, seeing a mixture of the 80s to even the mid-90s across Chalice and Salmon. So across Pocatello, we've been in the 90s or greater for 20 days in a row. Looks like today will be day 21, and we are on pace to break that record as we move throughout the week. Low temperatures for this evening will generally be in the 50s and the 60s. We'll have a low temperature of 60 degrees tonight in Blackfoot, 63 degrees tonight in Pocatello. It'll be 56 degrees tonight in Rexburg. Across the west and half Wyoming. Low temperatures will generally be in the 50s. Skies will be partly cloudy and an isolated shower or thunderstorm cannot be ruled out, especially across western Wyoming for the overnight. Looking at that seven-day forecast across Pocatello, a chance for an isolated thunderstorm to pop up tomorrow afternoon is also possible with a high temperature of 94 degrees, but notice those 90s, they're sticking around for another week with plenty of sunshine to finish off the work week. Across Idaho, for, uh, Idaho Falls, isolated storms are possible for today, even for tomorrow with the 90s continuing through Friday, and we get a break from those 90s as we move into the weekend. Across the Teton area, Jackson, Afton, and Driggs, expect a chance for isolated storms at least throughout the end of the work week with temperatures generally in the 80s, and it looks like we'll be in the upper 70s by Saturday. Across the Central Mountains, isolated storms possible for today, partly cloudy skies likely for tomorrow, and plenty of sunshine is in store for Thursday through Sunday.